Greetings, YouTube. I'm going to start this very uh, exciting video because it's a lot of positive updates in the game. Off with the positive thing. As you can see, Brawl and the Battle Realm Correction. Basically, long story short, Aegon was apparently a little bit harder than he was supposed to be, especially when you tried to block him in the uncollected monthly difficulty, particularly so in order to uh, compensate basically what's the highest level that you're able to defeat him in was a certain level of rewards. In this case, I beat him on uncollected. Thank you, Archangel. So I got some level five health potions, some level two revives, and three energy refills. Now, on to the more pressing matter at hand. This Champions Clash, you know, I think everybody received this in their inbox, but several people have messaged me saying, what is this? Maybe you're new and you haven't seen these kind of side quests before. Basically, you're kind of wondering uh, what to do. Now, I will say this. There are some very exciting things about this new uh, crop of difficulty because for the first time that I can remember, I think ever, we have a serious buff in rewards for this kind of celebrity type of challenge. Traditionally, someone like a Michael B. Jordan will come out and say, I've challenged summoners to take on a certain number of champions and they're the same champions and as you progress you uh you fight them and then they get harder and the ultimate rewards the best part of these rewards have always been the 20 generic five star signature stones but besides that it's been like a four star class based one out of six awakening gem which for most people who can defeat epic difficulty now does you almost no good i mean it's it's cool to have i guess it's better than nothing but it certainly isn't tier five basic shards it certainly isn't a five star crystal and it certainly isn't a tier two alpha so kabam heard our complaints about the last uh difficulty in uh in in regards to the rewards keep in mind that the difficulty used to be okay in these also because it mostly involved the life transfer node which actually is an advantage to the player versus kabam because even though you degenerate health every time you hit the opponent you gain in health back the damage that you are doing so you could actually conceivably if you were really aggressive not ever have to use any revives or even potions if you were able to keep your attack going. Uh, that was removed in the last Champion Clash, and we have not seen it again. But speaking of the Champions Clash, let's just break down the rewards because they have gotten way better. As you can see, they kept the best part of the previous renditions of this challenge, the 20 generic five-star signature stones, but they dumped most everything else, and they replaced it with something that I think justifies the difficulty that we have seen. From five-star basic crystal to a full tier two alpha to the oh-so-desirable tier five basic catalyst fragments, 11,000 of them, uh, and then even 2,000 six-star shards. Now, in addition to that, of course, there is a chapter one and a chapter two. What I love about even chapter one is that the exploration of this is really good, right? Even if you don't have the roster or the patience or the units to complete chapter two, you're still going to get, you know, almost 2,000 five-star shards between completion and exploration. You're going to get yourself a tier four class catalyst crystal, which for many of you, I've been told, is still hard for you to get because you're not yet in an alliance that gets those once a week from Alliance Quest. They saved the four-star awakening gem crystal for this chapter one exploration as well. And they also kept uh, something that was really, really positive in the past of certain challenges with the 20 five-star signature stone crystals. You would normally only see some of these in the master difficulty of the monthly event, but you certainly wouldn't see as many. So I'm really proud of Kabam. Yes, the difficulty is going to be tough. And for anyone that happens to have the gall to message me and say, Prof, you might have a tier list and other content creators might have a tier list, but Kabam doesn't have a tier list. I always say that is so naive. But besides that, uh, we are just going to go to the first line of the first chapter and we are going to show you who is the uh, enemies in all of these paths because you will see Magic, Hyperion, Iceman, Void, and Corvus. All of these before you get to the champion himself. Now... Are you trying to tell me that Kabam doesn't know that every one of these champions is a top 10 champion in the game? I mean, come on, people. They know. They know. They're not dumb. They also watch YouTube. 
They see other people's videos. They, unfortunately, uh, a lot of times don't catch their own bugs, especially the ones that benefit the players and not themselves until they see content creators on YouTube, in which case they quickly patch them up unless it doesn't benefit the uh, player. And then, you know, they'll quote unquote accidentally leave it up for a couple weeks, but I digress. Either way, you better be good at uh, power control, right? Hyperion's going to need a power control champion. I think Magic is going to be a MVP for this challenge. Void is obviously a champion that is not the hardest to evade, but certainly you can take a lot of damage just by having the fear of the Void inflicted. So I think the Ghost Rider Blade synergy for Void is going to be fantastic. Iceman is not too bad, assuming that you have some champs to counter the Cold Snap from Corvus. Even Iron Man Infinity War is a great option. I'm also, of course, thinking about Stark Spidey as somebody who can... Uh, use his poise charges to build up and then when you're not under uh, the cold snap to evade and then the champion's going to be interesting you know i'm not going to comment too much until i fought him because i don't know exactly how tough the nodes are going to be but uh magic again blade as always is a great mvp of any fight that deals with a mystic champ especially if you have say uh the the um, Dormammu synergy by uh, applying Danger Sense to all Mystic Champions. There are a, a lot of champs. And I don't want to just say, you know, of course, Blade is, is it because a lot of you don't have Blade that are watching this, but certainly that is a reason for this. I think Magic's going to be great. Even champs, like Power Control champs, right? OG Vision, uh, Psylocke can be good, Civil Warrior. I mean, there are a lot of different champs that you can use Power Control if you don't have the top tier champs. I am just so excited that the rewards have been buffed, and even if you can't complete Chapter 2, you can still do Chapter 1 and get an Awakening Gem and some 5-star shards and some 5-star class-based signature stones. Kabam should be applauded for giving us in a, a buffed reward system to match what continued to be increased difficulty in content without the rewards to match it. So what champions do you plan on using for this new challenge? Comment below and let me know. I look forward to seeing all the gameplay footage you put out. Anyone who has any like unique champions that you use to defeat this that aren't the champions I mentioned, but you think that they could benefit the community, send over the video. I'll, of course, give you full credit in the video I post, but it'll be a great opportunity to post unique uh, answers to certain levels of difficulty that people who don't have as vast of a roster can benefit from based off of who is on their team. Thanks for watching YouTube and good luck with this new challenging but rewarding content in the game.